Hey everybody, it's your boy LeBay Rome, the Disabled Fragrance Guy, and I'm back for another review. Do me a favor, if you haven't done so already, please go down below, like and subscribe to the channel. While you're down there, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified about every time I drop a video to YouTube. I want you guys to come along on this journey with me. I love having you here. I love putting out content for you guys. If you love it too, come along for the journey. Subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, leave comments. If I'm doing a good job, let me know that. If I'm doing a sucky job, let me know that too. If you have comments, complaints, concerns, leave a comment. I will be happy to reply. All right. I want to uh, thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate you guys. I know you have your uh, choice of content creators out there. Let's keep the ball rolling today with part two, part two of my deep dive into Goldfield and Banks, Australia, as previously stated in my last video where I uh, reviewed Bohemian Lime, Goldfield and Banks sent me this beautiful sample kit for my review. As you all know, all, all opinions are my own. I don't give favorable reviews just because, because I get something in the mail. I will never do that. You guys are assured of that. I will never do that. I will always give you the real deal truth. Today's review is going to be on Goldfield and Banks Pacific Rock Moss. Now, Pacific Rock Moss came out in 2016. You are going to have to give me a little bit of grace, a little bit of grace, because if I mess up this name, I apologize in advance. The nose of the fragrance, Francois Merlet Badon. I hope I got that somewhere in the ballpark. If I did, Please let me know if I didn't, don't kill me in the comments. Uh, the notes in the fragrance, we have Australian coastal moss, we have Italian lemon, sage, geranium, and cedar wood. This is inspired by the waves crashing upon sun-kissed rocks and long days that turn into warm summer nights. That's a beautiful description. I love that. Um, it just gives me great reminders of, you know, growing up on the lake you know, going to river houses and things like that. It's a beautiful visualization that I get. It's wonderful. Um, sizes and prices. This comes in a 100 ml bottle. That 100 ml bottle is going to run you $185. Now, I have more to say about that later, but it's going to run you $185 US. It is available on the Goldfield and Banks website, which I will link down below in the description. I believe it's also available at Lucky Scent, and if it is, I will link that in the description as well. So, what are you going to get with the smell? I have it on my skin, however, they did include these beautiful sample test strips in the presentation of the sample kit, so I'm going to use them because they're there for a reason. So what you're going to get, and I know this, I've worn it on skin, is a very earthy, woodsy, citrusy top. It's as if I was sitting on a grouping of rocks that had just been rained on and I have lemons in both of my hands and I squeeze those lemons and I bash them against the rocks, okay? And the lemon juice is running down and the lemon juice is running all over the rocks. That's what this feels like to me. Um, it's definitely summer in a bottle. It's nice. It's pleasant. It's very aquatic. And that's where the interesting part goes. That's it. That's it. It's got this lemony furniture polish vibe to it on my skin. And I know I'm not wearing it on skin today, but I know exactly where it's going to go because I have worn it on skin. Um, so I believe I can certainly attest to where this is right now. Um, yeah, it's got a lemony pledge furniture polish type vibe. Um, I like cleaning, so that doesn't really bother me. However, I don't want to wear furniture polish. So it's not like I don't like the smell of the fragrance. I just would not like wearing furniture polish on my skin or something that smells like furniture polish on my skin. However, um, it's got a tiny bit of backbone with the cedar wood in the background. It's pleasant. It's pleasant. It's a pleasant summertime fragrance. However, it's underwhelming. It's completely underwhelming. Um, and 
back in 2016, this got a lot of hype. This got a lot of hype from a couple of reviewers. They were hyped about this fragrance, let me tell you. And I don't see it. I don't see the hype. It could be just me. Could be my, maybe my skin is off. I don't know, but I, I don't see the hype of, of Pacific Rock Moss. Um, it's a very simple fragrance. And sometimes simple is what you need. Sometimes basic is what you need. This is a basic fragrance. Um, it's It smells decent, but it's not doing anything really for me. Um, this is, in my opinion, in my opinion, in my opinion only, this is high school mall kiosk worthy. For sure, for sure. It is a... This is exactly what I could smell at any mall kiosk in America today. It is. So, uh, $185? Nah, uh, I can't see that. I can't see it being worth $185 for the fragrance that I'm getting. $100? Perhaps $100. More like $80. But $185? Nah, kid. I'm not, I'm not spending $185 on this. That, that's not happening. Um, it lasts about five hours on my skin, so the performance, even the performance isn't really there. It's underwhelming in the performance too. So really, it's not that big of a deal to me. You know, for all the hype it got back in the day, not really feeling all that hype. You'll need to go heavy on the sprayer uh, on this fragrance for sure because it just, it's there for a half a day and then gone. Not even a half a day. A quarter of a day and then gone so you're gonna have to have a decant you're gonna have to reapply 185 dollars though no i can't i can't do that um it does give me a great memory though when i was in high school me and my friends used to cruise the lake in our cars listening to music you know just having fun in the summertime um so it gives me those memories of cruising the lake but that's where the fun with this fragrance ends for me. I, I really don't enjoy wearing it, but I enjoy the memories associated with it. So for that reason, I will give this a seven and a half out of 10, only because the memories associated with this fragrance are ones that I cherish as a person. The fragrance in general, the scent in general, it's like a five for me. It just, it doesn't do anything for me. Um, I personally have a hard time calling this a niche fragrance. Um, I know it comes from a niche house. I know it comes from, you know, the land down under. Um, but I personally have a really tough time calling this a niche fragrance because it smells like anything you can get in a mall kiosk. And that's not niche to me. So Pacific Rock Moss while it elicits wonderful, pleasant memories for me, is not the fragrance for me. Um, however, my wife does like the smell. She did say that I smelled good. She gave me a compliment. So, I mean, I guess if you like the fragrance, it could elicit compliments. I really don't like the fragrance, but my wife loved it on me. So, there you go. Uh, that That's usually how it goes. If I like something, she doesn't. If I don't like something she does. That's the way it works in this house. What can I tell you? Um, so it could be a compliment getter. I just, I, I won't be wearing it enough to get, to see how many more compliments I could get from other people. There was bound to be one in the pack, I understand. So Pacific Rock Moss is not for me. However, if it is for you, I will let you make up your own mind about it. I will leave some links in the description below. That's my time. Thank you all so much. I appreciate your time and your attention. Go down below, like and subscribe, and I'll check you next time.